I think it's even windier today than it was yesterday, you guys. To be totally honest with you, kind of surprised. Just hope the bite is as good. We'll make a few more casts here that we're moving. Oh, what? Are you kidding me? I'm getting ready to move and... Oh, that couldn't be better. That's a spotted bass, y'all. We're keeping him. I'm like, man, I'm gonna make a few more casts here and we're getting out of here. Not leaving the lake, but we were gonna go to the other side where I caught that big one yesterday. And wouldn't you know, we catch a fish. And it's a spotted bass too, so we're keeping him. How cool is that? And he's a little bitty. He's actually the perfect size for stocking. Got it. Little rebel crawfish slays bass, dude. My goodness. It's a fat little spotted bass. Perfect for the pond. There he is. We're on the board. I got a tiny little spinner bait on here. I don't even know if I can cast this. Oh, yes, I can. I can cast it. You probably won't catch any giant fish on this, but hey, a fish is a fish. I got a feeling this thing's going to catch fish right in here. Whatever these little things are that are jumping, if they're little bass, they ought to be able to smash this thing. This is the smallest spinner bait I've ever used. Check it out. Little black and blue spinner bait. Whole thing's only about two and a half inches long from the tip to the end. Golly, they're big, what, what? Like, this is a huge fish compared to the size of this lure. What? I did not think this lure would catch big fish. That is legitimately like a two and a half pound bass. This is bigger than anything we caught yesterday legitimately like a two and a half pound bass on a tiny little spinner bait oh my god yo i was just talking about that i did not think this thing would catch big fish what happened to his mouth though like how'd you get that wicked wound in your mouth this is what happens when somebody puts a fish on a stringer let me show this wound to you This is why you don't put a fish on a stringer. Look at that nasty hole in his mouth right there. Somebody put this guy on a stringer. Or they destroyed his mouth trying to weigh him. Let's weigh this guy. I'm gonna say two and a half pounds. Two point oh nine. A lot bigger than anything we caught yesterday. This is like this is like an eighteen inch bass. For real. Look at that. Look at that. That's like an eighteen inch bass. This would definitely be a two and a half pound bass if he didn't have that hole in his jaw. And if he was fat, he's kind of a little skinny. Actually, he's about normal weight, but the bass I've been catching lately have all been really fat. 
He's about ready to tail dance. I'm trying to find somewhere rocky to let him go. There you go, bud. That unexpected. I did not expect to catch a two and a half pound bass on a tiny little spinner bait. I was just talking about how that thing is probably not going to catch big fish. 2.09 and that's with missing a big part of his jaw. Missing a huge part of his jaw and slightly skinny. Dude, that's a, that's a two and a half pound fish if he's fat. Really unexpected. I thought the fish popping these shad were tiny. All right, you guys, we're gonna go drop this spotted bass off at the pond. See you there. All right, you guys, we're about to put number three in here. This will be the third third spotted bass there she is this one's a little bit smaller this will be the third spotted bass we've put in here all right oh she's pissed that is one pissed off fish here we go she's frisky though she's really strong here she goes look at that so there's three of them in here now that one swam off probably stronger than the other two so we got three of them in here and uh all three of them made it we know that for a fact a fish isn't going to swim off you know as feisty as that one and then just die you know a lot of people think that you can't transport fish that's just not true so we got three spotted bass in here they're the only three bass in this pond so Hopefully they'll spawn next spring and we'll put another dozen or so in and uh, hopefully they'll be good to go. So for now, thanks for watching.